Welcome to News Now, Thursday, October 12th. I'm Destiny Williams, and joining me today is Allison Williams. Over a dozen wildfires are breaking out in Northern California due to a drought. More than 119,000 acres have been burned. The fires torched 20,000 acres in about 12 hours on Monday alone. The fires advanced at a rate of more than a football field every three seconds. The fires will were fueled by a hurricane force winds. The highest reported was a 79 mile per hour gust in Sonoma County. More than 20,000 people have been evacuated from their homes. At least 11 people are dead, including seven in the wine country city of Santa Rosa. Nearly 35,000 are without power throughout the state. On October 1st, there was a mass shooting in a hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. On that night, Stephen Paddock became one of the deadliest mass shooters in U.S. history with killing 58 people and injuring over 500. There is an ongoing investigation for Paddock's motive that remains unknown and it has been said that he was working alone. During the national anthem of a recent NFL game, Christy Kirby, Kibbe E2, commander of Michigan State Police, went onto her private Facebook account and wrote a derogatory post about the NFL players taking a knee. As a result, many people feel that she went too far and would like to see her resign. The governor and lawmakers are still deciding if she should keep her job. In the past week, the Port Huron City Council, as well as the Public Works Director, announced that Port Huron's 10th Street Bridge will undergo rehabilitation work that is estimated to cost $2.4 million. Officials have stated that the state of Michigan is spearheading the project with primarily federal funds. Port Huron itself will only end up paying roughly $121,300. The 10th Street Bridge will not be closed to cars, but it will be closed to boats that would pass underneath. The repairs are estimated to take place from January to March of 2018. My heart goes out to those in Northern California. Hopefully they can catch a break soon. Hopefully. And now to Doug with sports. Last weekend, the Spartans beat the Wolverines 14 to 10, and if you were to ask some of the Wolverine fans, they're going to tell you say that it is the weather that made them lose. On the other hand, if you were to ask Spartan fans, they are going to say that it was skills that won the game. But in reality, this was a slow-moving game with five turnovers and a low score in the end, so better luck next time to the Wolverines. Now on to pro football. During week five of the regular NFL season, our Detroit Lions fell just short of protecting their own gridiron and knocking off another top-ranked team, losing to the Carolina Panthers 27-24. to The Detroit Lions defense couldn't hang with the top-notch Carolina Panthers offense, as Cam Newton found a receiver almost every pass play. Also, the Detroit Lions defensive line played in spurts and only a couple times rushed Cam Newton and made him force a bad pass. Finally, the last reason the Lions lost to the Panthers was because Matthew Stafford and his wide receivers were not clicking. With Stafford's 65.7 completion percentage, the Lions could not find the answers through the air. Let's move across the street over to Little Caesars Arena. A little over a month ago, the new Little Caesars Arena in Detroit opened to great review. The Red Wings and Pistons will now call their home. The Red Wings Christian to the new arena with a big win in the first regular season game ever played at LCA, and the Detroit Pistons will play their first regular season game at the LCA soon. Fans have remarked that they think this arena is a great place to enjoy a game, meet friends, and have dinner. We will be back with more news right after this short break. Every year, 40% of all food in the U.S. never gets eaten. 40%. That's almost half the food we produce. Food waste is a serious problem. It impacts all of us. And it's expensive. Your family is throwing $1,500 a year in the trash. We're working hard to put food waste on the chopping block. And you can do the same at home. Learn how to cook it, store it, and share it. Just don't waste it. Go to savethefood.com. Welcome back to News Now. Destiny, I hear you have a Halloween story for us. Well. Black cats are usually associated with the evils of Halloween, but not in this case. A United States sol soldier deployed overseas left his, black, left his black cat with his mother. One year later, the soldier called and said he would be home to pick up the cat soon. The soldier's mother shared that just that morning, the cat had awoken her from a sound sleep, and she discovered the kitchen was on fire. This black cat is credited for saving her life and is anything but unlucky. One single man is credited with saving at least 30 lives a few days ago in the Las Vegas shooting that took place at a country star Jason Aldean's concert. That man's name is Jonathan Smith. While saving those 30 people, Smith himself took two bullets, one to the arm and one to the neck. That's a very heroic action to take. Yeah, a lot of courage. And now to Macy with school news. 
Over this past week in the Marysville High School robotics team sent its Lady Vibots to an all-girl competition in Wyoming, Michigan. The girls went 6-2 and two in their qualification matches to start the day. They were then unfortunately eliminated in the corner finals. Congratulations to the team and good luck with the rest of their season. The Marysville Viking Regiment will begin their marching competition this Saturday. The band show, Bells of Christmas, has been rehearsed and now ready for presentation. The marching band will compete for three consecutive Saturdays, starting October 14, 2017. If they are able to score enough points to put them towards the top of their division, they will qualify for the next trip and opportunity to march at Ford Field. Parent-teacher conferences will be Wednesday, October 25th from 5 to 8 o'clock. Thursday, October 26th and Friday, October 27th will be half days. Students will be released at 11.10. The conferences will be from 12.30 to 3.30, then 5, 5 to 8. Hope to see you there. We will be back with more after this message. Open road, here comes the Hefley family. Whether it's a short trip or a long haul. Estimated time, 47 hours. They will beg. You're hungry? I'm happy to provide. They will plead. Deep, Deep fried, fried butter, butter on a stick. stick. But whatever you do, don't wimp out. Now you're talking? Make them buckle up. He can't hurt. Remember, safety first. Cheese curls. Ah! Second. Are you orange? Welcome back to the news now. Puerto Rico is receiving a lending hand. And here's Riley with more. The Federal Communications Commission has issued an experimental license to assist with the hurricane relief efforts in Puerto Rico. More than two weeks after the storm, about 8% of the land is still without cell service. The Loon Project works like floating cell towers. Giant balloons are sent about 12 miles up into the Earth's atmosphere. It is hoped that the system will restore cell communications for the residents and recovery workers. The system has been proven to work earlier this year. X said balloons over Peru were able to provide key coverage as country was plagued by the floods. But the reason Loon was up and running so quickly was because X had already been working alongside their systems were already integrated and tests were conducted in the mouths of the Loon before it ramped up in its internet coverage. For several weeks, cities all over North America have been trying to become the location of Amazon's second headquarters. This will provide many jobs and create a lot of economic growth. One of these cities that is hoping to become the location of Amazon's second headquarters is Detroit. Mayor Mike Duggan says Detroit has exactly what Amazon is looking for and that there's plenty of room to build 8 million square feet of office space. Um, Amazon headquarters in Detroit. That's right. Sounds pretty cool to me. You know what else is cool? Julie with entertainment. Traditional Halloween horror movies sending thrills up your spine are hitting theaters. The new movie, Happy Death Day, highlights the list Teresa, the main star, must relive the day of her murder over and over. A November inspirational movie, Wonder, shows the journey of young fifth grader who suffers from a facial deformity going to a new school. Be sure to check out these movies at your local theater. I'm looking forward to them. Yeah, me too. Thank you for joining us on News Now. We're the Williams sisters signing out.